The number of kids alone at the Mexican border hit an all-time high in March. U.S. authorities say they picked up about 19,000 children traveling across the border alone this past month. That's overwhelming the system and Border Patrol. Cronkite News reporter Samantha Bird explains how Yuma County is trying to handle the situation. Officials say Arizona will be home to large tent-like facilities to house unaccompanied migrant children and families as Border Patrol gives them court dates and releases them into the U.S. Yuma is one of the sites. The Border Patrol facilities are completely over capacity right now. Yuma County Supervisor Jonathan Lyons says the new Yuma facility went under construction about 15 days ago. It is like a giant army tent and bringing that in uh, so that they can keep the families that are being processed together. Vincent Dulesky of Yuma Sector Border Patrol explains the process. We are getting a emergency soft-sided facility. It's being constructed in our in our parking lot right now and it's I believe it's due to, to be uh, finished around mid-April. Once we have that in place, it, it'll be a little better. Um, it's not the permanent answer. I am being told that we are going to get a permanent facility, but in, in the meantime, you know, we're doing the, the best we can with what we're given. To understand the situation and the reasons. Homeland Security uh, Secretary Alejandro Mayorka says that they you. are setting uh, up additional facilities in Texas to shelter unaccompanied children and families. But they know very well they're going to get the some Phoenix activists are worried about the conditions in these shelters. We cannot trust the Border Patrol to uh, whatever they say. If they say it's going to be a short stay and air conditioning and all of that, well, it has to be verified. If it's not verified, then experience tells us that they are very uh, callous uh, because they've been dealing with deportations for a long time. Dulesky assures the tent-like facilities are built specifically for Arizona conditions. We've got these big old uh, compressors that are running 24-7. They've also have to have air coolers for the air that runs into those compressors so they won't shut down. Otherwise, it'll be too hot for them to run. So we actually have evaporating coolers next to those that, that run into the, the air conditioning uh, to, to cool these tents down. You know, the United States of America, and, and this is who we are. This is what Minority we're leader of the Arizona House of Representatives, Charlene Fernandez, explains the migrant situation as they seek refuge. Are fleeing um, very, very, very dangerous situations. You know, I mean, just like anything, we, I mean, and, and that's why there's interviews that take place. That's why there's a process. The Homeland Security Secretary says they're on pace to encounter more individuals on the southwest border than they have in the last 20 years. In the studio, Samantha Bird, Cronkite News.